What's up everybody? So today we are going to look at how to add buttons to your WordPress site. These could be call to action buttons, maybe to send to a contact us page or maybe a product page or buttons that are maybe going to send somebody to an external page or show you how to do both. So firstly, let's have a look at the website we're gonna modify here, this gadgets website. And you can see here that we have an iPhone 15 Pro advertised very prominently on the main home screen, but this isn't really much good to us if we can't send people to buy it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a buy now button just over here. So how do we do that? First thing, we're gonna head over to our dashboard and we're gonna to go to our pages section. So on the left-hand side, we have pages and we're gonna look at all pages. So that particular product is on our home screen. So let's go here to home and we're just gonna click on edit. Okay, so from here, we can start to edit this page using all the various blocks that are available to us. And like I say, we want to add a button just in here. So let's go over to our blocks. So we're gonna try and add a button block and we're gonna do that by clicking on this blue plus icon just in the top left here. And then in the search, we are gonna search for button. So this is the one we want right here, add a customizable button. So we're gonna grab that and we're just gonna drag it over and we're gonna drop it just here because that's where I want it. And there you go, we immediately have a button. And as I said, I want that to be a buy it now button. So I want a nice bold buy it now. Now, obviously the button is now there, but it doesn't actually link to anything. So we want to send that out to the relevant page. And the page you want to send it out to is of course the product page. So this here is the product page that we want to link to. So let's highlight the URL here copy it and then we're going to go back over to our edit page just here. We're going to click on our button. Now we've clicked on our button, we can come over to this right hand side and we can go down to the link section just here. We can open that up and we can add a link. So I'm just going to paste in that URL and that there is going to link. We just press enter. So now we have our link in there. We can actually start to edit the button if we don't quite like how it looks. So we can start with the layout and we can start changing the height of the button and see how that affects different things, the width and how that affects things. I mean, style is where you're gonna get most of your interesting things that you wanna change, but I might want some entrance animations. I do love an entrance animation, so I'm gonna have this one just fade in from the bottom. You get a little preview of that as well. And we just saw maybe a slight delay on how that happens. Head over to the style. I can come down here and click on styles. And this is where you're gonna get the most obvious changes. So we can have the default, which is what we have now. We can click on ghost and I quite like that. Plain, that's pretty boring. Or a straight up link, which I definitely don't want. So I'm gonna go with ghost. And you can see here, you can start to change your hover effect. So if I head over and hover over this, it doesn't really do a lot at the moment. But if we say, let's do it as a lift and then head over here, it starts. You can see how that lifts. It's a, just a different look. Uh, let's do lift more. You see it's an even bigger lift now when people go over to it. And your options really are endless. You can start to play with this, work out what works for you and how you want your button to look. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, we're just gonna come across and we're gonna update the whole page. If we now head back over to my homepage and we just refresh it, you will notice there that our buy it now button is present, it does that arrival, it launches up, it fades in from the bottom like we wanted it to. And if I go and hover over it, it lifts up. So we've created ourselves a buy it now button. If I then click on it, it will take me through to the page for the iPhone 15 Pro so that if somebody wants to buy it, they can simply add to their cart. However, that's not the only thing we might want to do with a button. So I'm gonna show you how to link out to an external site as well. So let's head back over to our dashboard here. I'm gonna leave our buy it now button as it is. And we're gonna go back to our posts this time. So let's go to dashboard and we'll just do it from there so you get to see it from scratch. So this is our dashboard 
gonna head over to posts and into all posts. And I'm gonna add a button to this particular blog post just here. So I'm gonna click on edit. And the same as the home page, you can see a preview of what that particular page looks like. And we're just gonna add a button. So same process, let's go up to plus and search for button. Now we have that there. However, if we don't wanna do it from that particular section, I'll just show you if we come over here and we just add ourselves a break, it's gonna give us the option to type or choose a block. And we can actually use this black plus button just over on this side here. So I'm gonna click on add block. And from here, I can search for button. I can then click it. And that's gonna arrive at exactly the point where I was, where I added that page break to create that button. And for this one, I'm gonna say, check out the video on YouTube. So let's say you have a relevant video that is associated with the blog article and you potentially want to push people to that. So I've got check out the video on YouTube just here. So again, I'm gonna click on there. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to add that link straight away. Now, the link I'm going to add is for the WP Beginner YouTube homepage. So I'm just going to copy that and head back over to my editor. Here we are down to the link and I'm just going to copy that in there and press enter. So that link is now added and active. And exactly like I said before, we can start to adjust the different styles and how this is going to look on the page. I'm going to stick with the default style this time, maybe go down to the button colors. Oh, let's change that to a gray, maybe. It just all varies. It depends on what you want. Now that's done, we can update and let's head over to the blog page and take a look at what that looks like. So this is the blog page in question and scroll down, here we go, check out the video on YouTube. Now it is useful to know that you don't have to do this, you don't have to add a button to link out to YouTube. You can actually embed videos directly into your articles or anywhere on your page really simply. And if you wanna check out how to do that, then check this video right here.